Today I'm throwing dog balls. Um, a few of you have asked for examples of fire pieces, so what I'll try and do is where I have them, I'll show you previous examples before I start. Because obviously, hanging on to the video of the piece that I'm throwing for the two or so weeks it takes before it's fired is a bit more long winded. So, little dog balls, a kind of couple of different sizes, and they're basically just you start like you're throwing a plate and then at the edge, pull the wall straight up. But I made myself a little pour stamp out of clay, and I just use that to stamp the pour prints on the bottom, which just peeks through the glaze, make it a bit more interesting. Um, they're sort of easy to throw and difficult at the same time. Uh, like with plates, the trick is just keeping yourself anchored enough that when you're spreading the clay out at the start, you don't knock it off center and let it push you around. You wanna keep it where you want it. So, same as last time, you can stick the clay by pushing in at the base. about this clay. It's a white stone, well, slightly off-white stoneware called KGM Production Thrower, or at least that's what my clay supplier calls it. One of the cheapest clays they do, but also the most dependable and one of the easiest to throw, so it's sort of got everything going for it. It'd be nice if it was a little bit whiter, but um, you can't have everything but it can be dried so much faster than something like a porcelain where you've got to baby it through the drying process. This you can take something off the wheel, and put it straight in the kiln, and generally speaking, it'll be fine as long as you have a little hold at 100 to actually dry it out. Obviously, if it's soaking wet, it'll explode, but it can be dried really quickly without cracking doing anything it shouldn't. This is going to be a small dog bell. I haven't quite finalised the amount of clay that I'm using, but I think it's going to be 600 grams for the small um, 900 for the large. The 900 goes a lot further because of the area that you're spreading it out over. But you'll get sort of an extra couple of inches diameter and maybe an inch more in height, which will probably double the capacity. Um, so, depending on what size dogs you're making them for. This is just one of the cheap wooden ones you get in the starter packs. I really like for these that the corners are so rounded. If you get a uh, more expensive one, like the garrity tools, it's got very sharp edges, useful for some things. For these, you can flatten the bottom with the short edge, and the rounded corners means it won't gouge the clay at the edges, whereas the sharper one will. And then, what I'll do is leave that to dry until this afternoon and that's when I'll stamp the pour pattern in the bottom because it's firm enough that the clay won't stick to the stamp but it's soft enough that it will take the pattern. 